As Liberal Democrats, we know getting rid of the Concertis will not be enough to bring about the radical change we need. Though absolutely necessary, it is nowhere near enough to solve the big, deep-rooted challenges in our country. The change we seek, the change our party has always sought, the change Liberals have championed for generations, is so much bigger than that. Because beneath the daily stream of crisis and scandal lie much older and more fundamental problems that neither the Concertists nor Labour are capable of tackling. Entrenched poverty and inequality, systemic injustice, climate change and the nature crisis, Britain's diminished standing in an increasingly authoritarian world, concentration of so much power in the hands of so few, and underpinning them all, a broken political system. A political system that it leaves millions feeling powerless and excluded, that makes it impossible to hold those in power properly to account. A political system that rewards short-term self-interest at the expense of actual solutions. A two-party system that serves no one except the vested interests of the Concertists and Labour parties. It swings from blue to red and back again, while well, nothing really changes political system that has been fundamentally broken for generations, and only we, the Liberal Democrats, will fix it. No one else will. Labour certainly won't. They've made that crystal clear. Because the truth is, the current system suits Labour just fine. Yes, it lets the Conservatives in most of the time, but they are bound, eventually, to let people down so badly that Labour think they can simply take their turn, without ever having to actually of a convincing vision of the future, without ever grappling with the big challenges we face or the radical solutions they demand. So look what we have as a result. A Labour Party fully signed up to conservative spending plans again, even when it means leaving millions of children to grow up in poverty. A Labour Party with nothing to say about Britain's place in the world, following the conservative lead on cuts the aid budget, and rejecting our plan to rebuild our critical relationship with Europe. And of course, the Labour Party is still wedded to first pass the post, even though the majority of voters want change. And so it falls to us, to Liberal Democrats, to be the agents of change once again and bring millions with us to make it happen. That's why cold hands clutch wet phones to canvas voters, why worn out shoes walk miles to put leaflets through letterboxes. Why tired voices urge neighbours to lend us their votes. Not just to beat the Conservatives, though beat them we must. Not just to change who sits in power, but to change where power sits. We must do nothing less than transform the nature of British politics for good. Bring back far more control to individuals and communities. Fight for a fair deal that empowers everyone and holds the already powerful to account smash the two-party system, reform our elections and give everyone an equal voice because that is the only way we can build a fairer, greener, more caring country. That is our goal. That is our calling. So Happy New Year and I'll see you out there.